Good afternoon to you. Mark's out of HurricaneTrack.com here with your Hurricane Outlook and discussion for the 8th day of November 2017. Just a quick review of where we have come and how far we have to go. Obviously, all of this is behind us, and now we are approaching this part of the hurricane season. Fairly close to the November 10th line here, and after that, it really flattens out, and we typically don't see much activity. I think we will see one or two more named storms, a couple of these that form out here in the subtropical Atlantic at some point. Water temperatures through this region are quite a bit above the long-term average. Most of the North Atlantic is warmer than normal, while the Pacific, especially in the equatorial region, is quite a bit cooler. And so it won't surprise me to see a few more of these storms pop up, similar to what we have here with Rena which is pretty close to transitioning into the post-tropical phase over much colder water, and it'll get whisked into the westerlies up here, and some of that remnant, remnant, that's not a word, some of that remnant, that is a word, energy heading over towards the British Isles, but only as remnant energy embedded in the jet stream, nothing at all like what you saw with Ophelia, so don't get too worried about it. It's pretty common that this, uh, these storms come out of the tropics and even the subtropics, and that energy li- uh, lifts out and heads towards the British Isles and northwestern portions of Europe, sometimes Iceland right up here. Um, so, you know, just keep an eye on that. It's nothing really to be concerned about, but it should bring some inclement weather your way over the next few days. This is the visible satellite loop, and you can see it is a very well-defined tropical storm the circulation, everything about it is definitely uh, Tropical Storm-esque. It's just missing the deep convection that we are used to seeing, which makes sense because it's moving over cooler and cooler water every hour, and that cooler water means less moisture, less heat, less energy, and so this is just kind of dying away, starving away from losing its energy source. And if it was over warmer water, this would have been the 11th hurricane of the season, I do believe. But it's not going to. It's moving over that cooler water, and so that is just about that. So let's go to the GFS. This is the next five days. There is Rena right there. This is the uh, large high-pressure area centered near the Azores Islands here. And watch what happens with Rena over the next few days here, moving up and around the northwest side of this high-pressure area, getting elongated and stretched out with other weather features, and then it comes around the top side of the high, the north side, and then, yeah, right into the U.K. there, the British Isles, Ireland, and Great Britain proper, and it'll bring some rain and some maybe some gusty winds, that kind of thing. Typical yucky November weather, I guess, coming off of the North Atlantic towards the British Isles, but again, really nothing to worry about in terms of any major impacts. And if we look down in the deep tropics, of course, from Africa, Over to the Lesser Antilles, you would expect there to be nothing. You don't see any of these little impulses coming off any longer. At the 5,000 foot level, the 850 millibar level of the atmosphere, just a few specks of green in there indicating very, very minute amounts of energy or vorticity in the atmosphere. The Cape Verde season is long over, and the Atlantic hurricane season is not far itself from being over. Uh, again, the water temperatures, this is an actual map, it's not the anomalies, but you can tell just by looking at this, the 26 degree isotherm that is Celsius, which is around 80 degrees, you can just round it up and call it 80 degrees Fahrenheit, and that's where it is. There's the Gulf Stream right there, so it extends quite a bit far to the north, almost to 40 degrees latitude. Everything south of this is still warm enough to support tropical cyclones. So, that's why I think we will probably see some more development. Let's just change this over to black for a minute. I think we will see more development in this region uh, between now and the end of even December. I know the hurricane season itself ends November 30th. And maybe something tries to develop down in this area. That wouldn't shock me either. So I think these are our two areas to watch over the next couple of months. Six weeks or so. And then hopefully that'll do it, and it'll put the end to a very, very busy hurricane season, a destructive one, 
I am working on my documentary, the Tracking the Hurricanes 2017 edition, trying to put together the story of what happened this year from our perspective, the, the team that works with me, our field missions, as well as the greater historical perspective of what this means and what we, you know, the, the things that we failed with, uh, the things that were done right, uh, and how overwhelming it was. I think that's the biggest message is, you know, it had been almost 12 years since the United States saw a major hurricane, and we had two of them with Harvey and Irma, but then you threw Maria into the mix with Puerto Rico, and of course that's a U.S. territory, and those are American citizens down there, and the turmoil, uh, the political ramifications, you name it, it's all very interesting, and it mixes everything up and makes it complex, so I'm trying to work it out and tell the story, at least from our perspective, how we tracked the hurricanes of 2017. Uh, also, real quick, on November 30th, I will do a special 183, the day 183 end of the season broadcast. Uh, time to be announced, you know, probably 8 o'clock Eastern time or something like that. That's coming up in just a few weeks. And I will recap the season from a statistical and scientific perspective, as well as look at it briefly from our perspective, some of the things that we accomplished. Of course, the documentary, the movie that I'm working on, trying to get that ready before Christmas so that folks can purchase that. And we'll talk about all that later. But uh, it's all coming to an end, thank goodness. And then before you know it, only six months off, and those six months will go fast, and then it'll be hurricane season 2018 before you know it. I know some of you are probably like, oh, come on. <laughs> but hey, you know what? It's true. It's half the year that we're in the season, and half the year that the season uh, is closed for business, so to speak. And sometimes it's not even that. Anyway, I'm rambling on and on. I mean, hey, we had Arlene, right? Well before the season this year. And in 05, and there are other years too, but like, you remember 05, everything just kept on going right into January 2006. So we'll have to see if that happens again this year. You never know. All right, that's it from me. I'm done for the day. I appreciate you tuning in. Rena will become post-tropical, and that will be it for that. And so probably no reason for an update until Monday. And then we will get a, we're going to kind of sort of phase into this off-season addition, if you will. We're going to gradually fade into that. Even though it's not off-season yet, every Monday I'm going to do an update as we get ready for the off-season, uh, and that'll start this coming Monday, even though it's still the on-season. Does that make any sense? Probably not. Bottom line, have a good rest of your Wednesday, and I'll talk to you again on Monday. Thanks for watching. Mark Sutteth, HurricaneTrack.com. We'll chat again this coming Monday.